Welcome to the Mass for Inspiration. The Mass for Inspiration is brought to you in part by the LaSanne Family and Samsung Productions. Entrance antiphon, drop down dew from above, you heavens, and let the clouds rain down the just one. Let the earth be opened and bring forth a Savior. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, your grace unto our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ your Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the second book of Samuel. When King David was settled in his palace, and the Lord had given him rest from his enemies on every side, he said to Nathan the prophet, Here I am, living in the house of cedar, while the ark of God dwells in a tent. Nathan answered the king, Go, do whatever you have in mind, for the Lord is with you. But that night the Lord spoke to Nathan and said, Go, tell my servant David, thus says the Lord, should you build me a house to dwell in. It was I who took you from the pasture and from the care of the flock to be commander of my people Israel. I have been with you wherever you went, and I have destroyed all your enemies before you, and I will make you famous like the great ones of the earth. I will fix a place for my people Israel. I will plant them so that they may dwell in their place without further disturbance. Neither shall the wicked continue to afflict them as they do of old. Since the time I first appointed judges over my people Israel, I will give you rest from all your enemies. The Lord also reveals to you that he will establish a house for you. And when your time comes and your rest with your ancestors, I will raise up your heir after you sprung from your loins, and I will make his kingdom firm. I will be a father to him, and he shall be a son to me. Your house and your kingdom shall endure forever before me. Your throne shall stand firm forever. The word of the Lord. Thanks Amen. be to God. I responsorial psalm. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. The promises of the Lord I will sing forever. Through all generations, my mouth shall proclaim your faithfulness. For you have said, my kindness is established forever. In heaven, you have confirmed your faithfulness. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. I have made a covenant with my chosen one. I have sworn to David, my servant. Forever will I confirm your posterity and establish your throne for all generations. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. He shall say of me, you are my father, my rock, my God, my savior. Forever I will maintain my kindness toward him and my covenant with him stands firm. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. Our second reading is a reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, to whom who can strengthen you according to my gospel and the proclamation of Jesus Christ, according to revelation of my mystery kept secret for long ages, but now manifested through the prophetic writings and according to the command of the eternal God, made known to all nations to bring about the obedience of faith to the only wise, excuse me, <clears throat> To the only wise God, through Jesus Christ, be glory forever and ever. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And coming to her, he said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at what was said and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary. You have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give him the throne of David his father, and he will rule over the house of Jacob forever. And of his kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I have no relations with a man? And the angel said to her in reply, The Spirit, the Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age, and this is the sixth month for her who was called barren, for nothing will be impossible for God. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friends, it is the very special task at this time of year for parents and grandparents when it comes to their children and grandchildren. Christmas is traditionally a children's feast. It's a time when we introduce children to the great mystery that Jesus brought God down to us. But we cannot stop here. If we do, we've told our children only half of the Christmas story. We must go a step further. We must teach them why Jesus brought God to us. It was to teach us that we too must bring God to others. Some time ago, the Washington Post did a story on Ross Perot, the Texas billionaire. You remember he was the independent candidate for president in 1992 and he ran a third party campaign in 1996. Ross was not always a wealthy business tycoon. During the, the depression years, his mother and father in Texarkana, Texas, had to struggle to make ends meet, as most depression families had to do in those days. Ross recalled that during those difficult years, a lot of hobos rode the trains of Texarkana and a lot of those hobos came to the Ross Perot home for meals. Ross's mother never turned them away, although she wondered why so many came to their house. Then one day she learned the reason. One of the hobos told her that the curb in front of their house was marked by a code known only to hobos. It indicated that the people in that house will always feed you. Ross asked his mother, should I erase the mark? No, his mother said, leave it there. Commenting on his mother's answer, Ross told journalist David Remnick, we are all what we were taught to be. You sit in that little house in Texarkana and you see your parents doing things like that when you were a child. That's the great lesson in the world. Ross is right. It's the greatest lesson in the world. And the reason that it's the greatest lesson is because it's the lesson Jesus taught us through his coming into the world. It's the lesson that we must bring God to others just as Jesus brought God to us. It's the lesson that we must learn to bring God to others just as Mary brought God to us in her words to the angel 
in today's gospel. It's the lesson that we must learn and relearn every Advent and pass it on to our children. It's the lesson that other people will be giving to us this Christmas so that in turn, we may learn to give to others. That's what Ross Perot's mother did in Texarkana. That's what Jesus did in his world. That's what we must do in our world. Unless we learn this lesson and pass it on to our children, we miss the whole point of the feast we are preparing for. My dear friends, God forbid if we lose the meaning of what Christmas is all about. Let us prayerfully recite the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Prayer of the faithful, confident in God's mercy and love, let us pray, place our requests before him. That all members of the church may work to help bring about the kingdom of peace God promised through Jesus. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That legislators may be inspired by the birth of Prince of Peace and always vote to uphold and preserve the sanctity of a human life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who lack permanent housing may find shelter through those who share God's love and service to others. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we in his faith community may keep our hearts open to hear and answer God's call to share his love and mercy with those most in need. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our deceased friends and relatives may experience the fullness of peace and joy in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And this Sunday's Mass is being offered for the health and blessings of Chris Kleckner. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. O oh God, in your goodness and love, hear and answer our prayers according to your will. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice from your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all of his holy church. May the Holy Spirit, O Lord, sanctify these gifts laid upon your altar, just as he filled with his power the womb of the Blessed Virgin Mary, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For all the oracles of the prophets foretold him, the Virgin Mother longed for him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity, so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and, and profess your resurrection, resurrection until, until you come, come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly, we pray, that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Joseph, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, 
blessed Joseph, her beloved spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O oh God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come, thy will be done. done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Peace, peace God. God. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away, away the, the sins of the world. world. Have, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us, us peace. peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I'm not worthy that, that you should enter, enter under, under my roof, roof but only, only say, say the, the word, word and my soul, soul shall be healed. Having received this pledge of eternal redemption, we pray, Almighty God, that as the feast day of our salvation draws ever nearer, so we may press forward all the more eagerly to the worthy celebration of the mystery of your Son's nativity, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. spirit. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.
The Mass for Inspiration is brought to you in part by the LaSanne Family and Samsung Productions. The Samsung Productions mobile app is now available for all your mobile devices for free. Watch all of our local shows anytime, anywhere, on any device. Shows like SSP TV News, The Sam LaSan Show, The Girls, and many more. Learn about our history, view our production work, check out the Socializer One, and connect with us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Android users, go to your Google Play Store, and iPhone users, go to your App Store and search SSP TV. Our app is also available for other devices including Amazon, BlackBerry, and Windows. The Samsung Productions mobile app. Try it for free today. Uh-oh. Get on top of it before they do. Every 24 minutes, tipped furniture or a falling TV sends an injured child to the emergency room. Preventing tip-over incidents is easy, inexpensive, and only takes five minutes. Learn how to secure your furniture and TVs to protect children at anchorit.gov. The Socializer One has helped many businesses grow their online presence, but more importantly, their bottom line. I learned a lot of different techniques on how to use my Facebook page then to get my current students involved, my instructors involved, and also my alumni. It's a great opportunity to go ahead and call SSP TV or the Socializer One to learn more about what they can do for you and your business. Contact me today to learn how the Socializer One can help you too. Vision loss is not something that you feel until it happens. Most people lose their vision from diseases like macular degeneration and glaucoma, not at birth. Three million Americans have glaucoma and half don't even know it. 11 million people in the United States have macular degeneration. So many eye disorders can be treated if caught early. Make a plan today to get your eyes checked. Visit brightfocus.org to learn more. Samsung Productions can help you hit your target market. I would highly recommend Samsung Productions to work with. The quality is great. You're definitely going to get return on your dollar with them. I absolutely would recommend Samsung Productions. They get our message out to the community in a really good way. I would absolutely recommend using Samsung Productions to promote your business. They make it extremely easy for you, and they're definitely on time, and they're extremely professional. Check us out online, samsungproductions.com. I am a veteran. My victory was finding the strength to be a champion. My victory is having a job I can be proud of. At DAV, we help veterans get the benefits they've earned. My victory was finishing my education. My victory was getting help to put our lives back together. DAV provides veterans with a lifetime of support. My victory is being there for my family. Help us support more victories for veterans. Go to DAV.org. The Samsung Productions mobile app is now available for all your mobile devices for free. Watch all of our local shows anytime, anywhere, on any device. Shows like SSP TV News, The Sam LaSan Show, The Girls, and many more. Learn about our history, view our production work, check out The Socializer One, and connect with us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Android users, go to your Google Play Store, and iPhone users, go to your App Store and search SSP TV. Our app is also available for other devices including Amazon, BlackBerry, and Windows. The Samsung Productions mobile app. Try it for free today. Drug addiction can cover up the beauty in our lives, but with treatment and the support of family and community, we can recover what makes life shine, the beauty waiting just beneath the surface. For confidential information on substance use disorders, including prevention and treatment referral for you or someone you know, call 1-800-662-HELP. Brought to you by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. The Socializer One has helped many businesses grow their online presence, but more importantly, their bottom line. I learned a lot of different techniques on how to use my Facebook page then to get my current students involved, my instructors involved, and also my alumni. It's a great opportunity to go ahead and call SSP TV or the Socializer One to learn more about what they can do for you and your business. Contact me today to learn how the Socializer One can help you too.